Hi, we're going to talk about part 21 light and I'm joined by Carl Garvey, one of EASA's experts on this topic. Um, as a first question, what is part 21 light and which part of the industry is it for? Thanks John, yes, uh, part 21 light is a new regulation which is aimed primarily at uh, aircraft manufacturers and designers um, of aircraft which are primarily used for sports and recreational purposes. It has a limited scope uh, of applicability but applicants can still use the traditional Part 21 regulation if they wish. However, we would like them to use Part 21 light, which has been designed specifically for general aviation uh, aircraft. So what are the main advantages then of Part 21 light for designers and manufacturers? There's lots of advantages in using Part 21 light, but the primary ones are the fact that uh, an aircraft uh, design or manufacturer can become a declared design organization and become a declared production organization and this means that they can start business straight away instead of having to wait for an approval. Obviously there's oversight from EASA and the national authority for those organizations but they can start to do their business straight away. Also the different involvement of EASA, we're more doing product focused oversight instead of the more traditional documentation review and we believe that this is a more pragmatic approach to certifying um, these aircraft. And I understand Part 21 light is made up of two key processes or two specific processes. Can you explain a little bit more about those two processes and the difference? Absolutely, this is an important point. Within Part 21 light regulation, there are two possibilities. There's the so-called light certified process, which results in a type certificate being issued for the product. Uh, the requirements for that is a declared design organization and declared production organization. And this results in a type certificate being issued by uh, EASA after verification of compliance and that type certificate is valid in the same way as Part 21. For the de like declared process, there's no type certificate issued for the product and instead the manufacturer and designer declares compliance of the design in accordance with the technical specifications and then EASA registers that declaration of design compliance. There's no um, verification of compliance by EASA, however we put checks in place to ensure the safety of the product. There's no formal design organization requirements or production organization requirements, however we put some bespoke production requirements for these manufacturers of declared aircraft. Uh, the main difference is the fact that a declared aircraft is only eligible for operation within the EASA member states and there's no export possibilities outside of EASA member states. And, and this concept of uh, the different uh, levels of involvement from EASA, can you explain a little bit more about that from a Part 21 light perspective? Absolutely, that's one of the key differences in Part 21 light. The type of oversight is, is uh, fundamentally different from Part 21. There's two main intervention points in the process. Before first flight and before issuing the flight conditions for the aircraft, we have a critical design review or a safety review. Uh, which is an on-site visit to the, uh, the manufacturer to see if the aircraft is safe to continue with demonstration of compliance. And the second dimension point is just before we issue the type certificate or register the declaration. And this is a so-called first article inspection where we would go again to the on-site visit to uh, ensure the safety and conformity of the aircraft. So if somebody's uh, working for an organisation, they're interested in Part 21 light and they, they, they want to know more, what should they do next? The first thing to do would be approach EASA and uh, discuss the possibility of the application for this process. Uh, they can use the uh, email address which is generalaviation at easa.europa.eu and they can contact us and discuss the, the possibilities of using Part 21 light. And people can also go on the EASA website, we have General Aviation as Domain uh, on the website and links also to Part 21 like all the information that Carl's already created, lots of fantastic presentations and other material is there available as well. Thanks for uh, watching and listening and hopefully uh, you found that really useful as an introduction to Part 21 like.